Yo, what is going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 20 card review. In this one I'm going over 86 overall prospects. Sixto Sanchez from the Miami Marlins. This card was obtainable through prospect packs or you can buy him on the marketplace. He's currently selling for around 18,000 stubs. So I was super excited to try this card as I'm sure a lot of you were. Uh, Sixto Sanchez, big name prospect coming up in the league right now. Uh, and his pitch repertoire is disgusting. Single circle, sinker, circle change, four seamer slider. That is just amazing. So overall, I think this card was pretty good. I have some caveats to that. Uh, and a, probably a unique way to use him that would make him most effective. So first off, low per nines are definitely killer. Uh, he was kind of the king of giving up cheap hits, be it late swings, early swings. Uh, it seemed like he was just giving up more cheap hits than normal. I don't know if it's because his per nines are low or what. Um, additionally, if you're going to use this card, I would highly recommend only using him on a Hall of Famer higher, so that's 700 rating in ranked seasons or higher, uh, because this is definitely a card that needs to have pitch speeds uh, to have a lot of success. He needs to have fast pitch speeds. So he can blow the sinkers by people, so he can bl blow the four-seamer by people. I don't see a scenario where this card would ever have much success on All-Star. It would be just too easy to catch up to the fastball even if you're fooled. So um, if you play on All-Star, below 700 rating in ranked seasons for most of your games, I probably wouldn't recommend this card. Uh, he just really needs to take advantage of his VLO to be successful. And speaking of his VLO... His four-seamer can hit 101 miles an hour without the outlier quirk, which is pretty insane. Uh, only one mile per hour less than someone with the outlier quirk, so he throws absolute gas. Uh, the sinker gets up to 97 as well. Uh, however, with the off-speed, it doesn't move a lot, and given the fact that he loses stamina quickly, uh, the movement actually drops off a ton the deeper you get into the game. So. He only has 84 stamina, on top of that he's always throwing gas, so this is one of those pitchers that seem to lose stamina really fast compared to other guys for me, um, and when he would lose that stamina his off speed would lose a lot of breaks, so um, really you can only throw the change up early in counts, the slider just doesn't break enough, it'll kind of just hang, uh, slider's more of an out pitch than anything, but really you're just looking to throw gas with this guy, four seamers and sinkers, hopefully throw their timing off. Uh, my experience with this card, however, was that he would dominate for the first couple innings and then my opponent would kind of figure him out and he'd give up a couple bad innings right after that. So honestly, the best use for this card might be to have him in your rotation or throw him in your rotation when you have guys that are really rested and maybe use him coming out of the bullpen. I think this guy would be an insane arm to come out of the bullpen late in a game. Uh, very tough to pick up initially but easy to adjust to over time, so I personally am going to try that myself if I feel like my starters are rested enough uh, that I can use the fifth slot as a reliever at some point. I may try it with Sixto Sanchez because I think he'd be a really, really good card out of the bullpen, but as far as a starter, uh, he's not going to go deep into games for you at all. There's only so many sequences you can do. His stuff is amazing. His repertoire is amazing, uh, but good players will figure him out. Uh, only over the course of a couple innings. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I did enjoy using the card. You'll see I was having a lot of fun with some of the strikeouts you'll see in the clips. Uh, if you can put the stuff where you want it and they're fooled on it, nasty, nasty pitcher. But uh, those are big ifs against good players on this game. So as always, we'll rate the card how he rates in the meta, and we'll rate him compared to how much he costs. How he rates in the meta, I'll give him a B. Not the worst starting pitcher in the world at, at all. Um, very good. Could definitely fool a lot of players uh, at lower difficulties, or lower rating, I should say. Um, and for the price, I'll actually give him an A. 18K is really cheap for a decent to good starting pitcher at this point in the year. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below who you want me to review in the next one. Enjoy the clips after this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. This guy's really good chat. This is going to be a sweaty. Luckily, we got Sixto Sanchez, the god. <clears throat> you too, Connor. See you later, man. Thanks for watching as long as you did, bro. Much love. First game with Sixto. It is Sixto Sanchez debut. 
I like his wind up, it's very smooth. That was disgusting. Let's go. Right, Harambe? <laughs> Damn, that was pieced. Yeah, I'd agree with that, Evan. Ninety-three on the sinker, but a hundred on the four seamer. That is gross. A hundred and one. No outlier. Holy shit. This guy's gonna be fucking gross on legend. I'm telling you right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Changes, Clyde. But I definitely don't enjoy pitching to Gallo. That's for sure. Last year I had like a Mount Rushmore of guys that I just absolutely could not get out under any circumstances. They were like Alomar, Frank Thomas, Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> Those guys must have hit like 800 against me over the course of the season. Dude's sick though. He's unbelievable! Dot. Oh my god. But M2O is more fun and more forgiving if you don't do well than Showdown. Christ! Oh shit, this guy's got Wander? Jesus, bro. <laughs> That's a commitment, dude. Holy shit. Big props on that. Yeah, see, May. It's fast, man. Hall of Fame's definitely faster than last year. Ellipsis! Wearing them a lot. Like, they're heavy on my face and shit. Jaffe. Could take Reggie, that's true. You could take any of the five, man. They're all good. They're all equal. <clears throat> it just all comes down to what position do you want to have filled for a long time. It's the only question you have to answer. Right, Jordan. For Evo, I took Eck first, and then I took Cargo. But I kind of wish I would have taken Eddie Matthews over Cargo. But I am 110% happy with the Eckersley pick. He's been incredible. A true closer. I can see without them pretty well, Mike. They just help, you know? That was disgusting. <laughs> 